I want to start right away with a verse for you today. It's in Jude chapter 1, verse 3 and 4, and I want to read the whole verse. It says, Beloved, while I was very diligent to write concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith that was once and for all delivered to all the saints. For certain men have crept in unnoticed, for who long ago were marked out for this condemnation, ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the Lord our Jesus Christ. I bring this to you as a warning today. We're talking about, we're talking about enemies of a church family. And one of the great enemies today of a church family is false teachings and false teachers and false doctrine. And I would challenge you today, be careful, like the verse says in here, be careful of who you're listening to and, and grab tight to that sound teaching. Grab tight to that sound doctrine. I tell you what, men, if you're in a church and your pastor is preaching sound doctrine, grab on to that thing. Take everything he says and, and use it as nourishment in your body, nourishment in your family. Take a hold of everything that is, but be careful who you listen to. Don't just, don't just randomly find people to, to speak into your life. Be careful of who you listen to because one of the greatest enemies of the church today is false teachings that are leading people astray. And some, there's verses in here that even say that people are in their own church being led astray by, by different doctrines. So stick to the truth. Stick to the Bible, man. Don't let anybody, don't let anyone convince you of anything less than that. Don't let anyone approach you with anything less than what does the Word of God say. Don't allow that in your life. Don't allow that in your thinking. Don't allow that in your church family. Never settle for less than what the Word of God says. I don't have permission to expect you to live any less than what the Bible says. And you should not give yourself permission to do the same. We all need to hold ourselves to the same standards. Be careful who you're listening to and be careful that the doctrine and the teaching and the words that you're bringing in your life are going to cause peace and joy in your life instead of harm. I'm praying for you that you keep that straight in your life. Beware of those false teachings.